So guys, today we're gonna to be going over and field testing, kind of showing you guys overall my favorite beginning bushcraft knife. So before we get started and before we hop into all this fun testing, as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And without any further ado, let's hop into this. So hopefully you guys like that nice evening peaceful kind of test. I did some baton work with this knife and a nice little fire in the firebox. I am really enjoying that firebox. Just as a side note and complete rant, I'm really loving that firebox if you guys couldn't have already told. Uh, also, hopefully you guys liked the notch work. I decided to do just a handful of pretty basic but yet pretty telling bushcraft tests for the knife and the knife in question for those who don't already know is the condor knife and tool bushcraft basic four inch and this is a knife that like i said uh, in the intro is my favorite beginning knife for a bushcrafter so now we're going to actually be getting into why this is my favorite knife for a beginning bushcrafter and what attributes this knife has and then make it really good. We'll also be discussing the one real negative or actually two real negatives to this knife. 
has the best bushcrafting knife for a beginner over things like the Mora Companion or Clipper or any of the number of Mora knives that are highly recommended and beloved by everyone is a few reasons. One, this knife is a full tang and for the most part very sturdy knife. Sorry if you guys notice I have to fight off a whole bunch of mosquitoes but this knife is very sturdy, full tang and overall more robust than Mora's. In addition to the uh in addition to this, another thing that I really enjoyed about this knife over the Mora Companion, which I have several companions, so keep in mind guys, I do understand and love that knife in certain ways, but what really drew me to this was not only it's more tough, not only was it more tough, but the overall blade shape is more conducive to actual bushcraft. The, cl the clipper slash companion is a great overall just all around knife. It's good for filleting, it's good for skinning, it's good for crafting as well, but it really is not super geared toward bushcraft like this knife. And you'll notice with the blade shape, though it is very basic, it has a very pronounced belly. And this I found over the years, after years and years of bushcrafting with it, it actually, this pronounced belly allows you to do a lot more with this knife than a clipper. And you can actually, with this knife, because of its pronounced belly, actually carve out spoons uh, with it. Now keep in mind these spoons won't be the most amazing spoons, but the fact of the matter is you can actually do it, unlike with a clipper that has such a recessed belly and sharp tip, it just really does not work for that. So it has a better overall, or is thicker, and you can actually hold it longer, and overall the ergonomics, in my opinion, tend to be just a little bit better. <clears throat> Both of these things, or all of these things, all three of these things, combined with the fact that it still has a very nice and high Scandinavian grind that allows you to actually dig and do a lot of very good uh, woodworking, I found made this knife really, really excellent for bushcrafting. And I think this knife is oftentimes overlooked in the bushcraft realm because uh, it's just not really there. A lot of people don't see this knife. They don't even know it exists. But in fairness, it is actually really surprisingly excellent for bushcrafting. So all of this combined with the fact that you can get this knife for under $40 make it a really excellent bushcrafting knife and choice. And once again, it is actually a little bit more expensive than something like a Mora, but for what you're getting overall, it's pretty good. So now to the few parts that are not so good about this knife and really was just kind of a learning process and some of these things may be resolved. Supposedly, they are resolved by Condor. Now do keep in mind that this knife so this knife is made out of 1075, which is softer than 1095. And so what I found out the hard way was that when trying to baton through cross grain, baton through uh, hickory, it did actually bend the edge, the very cutting edge, a little bit. Now this has of course been eventually worked out through sharpening, so it's no longer an issue with this knife. But do be mindful in the fact that, especially like I said, when batoning hardwoods, like very hardwoods, like hickory, and probably even things like oak, uh, this would have the potential to bend on the edge. Now I will say, like I said, I batoned, and as you guys saw there in the video, or in the testing part, I batoned aspen, and I batoned birch, and other things like that, without issue with this knife, and as you guys can see with the uh, wear on it, this has certainly been batoned a lot. And like I said, only through hickory cross grain did this uh, edge ever bend just slightly. Now keep in mind, there was no chip outs on it either, so that it was a very good thing to know. The only other thing that I have as a downside really against this knife is the fact that once again due to the fact that it's 1075 instead of 1095 you really can't strike the back of this reliably with a ferro rod to get a fire going. But, but other than those two facts and the fact that this thing is around $39 really make it quite an excellent knife. In addition to that, 
It also, as most Condors do, has an excellent leather sheath. As you guys can see, this is my very original, very, very chewed up paracord necklace for it. Legitimately, I carried this thing for like two years with this setup here just with this very basic leather cord and just carried it around my neck for years. It's been a very reliable and very trusty knife. So anyways guys, this has been so guys, that's pretty much all I have to say on this knife. I didn't really want to do a full-on review about this knife, but I just wanted to talk about a knife that I thought was really excellent for beginning bushcrafting, and a knife that really doesn't get that much coverage, even though it's still a pretty awesome knife. And hopefully you guys were able to see through the field test, uh, just on this knife, how awesome it can be. So anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this short and informative video on my favorite knife for bushcrafting and hopefully if nothing else you enjoyed that nice peacefulness of a night. Anyways guys, that is all for now. I'm out.